I mean, the idea here is you can build a video game with $20 or so. And Excellent. Hey, it's Aaron with IP Exchange. This will be our first interview with Arduino at McFair Rome. Uh, we've got quite a few coming up, but just for a little bit of context, this is covering a few products from their Maker line. Um, so we've talked about their Pro line before, and these are the very, very top level of the Maker line that are kind of blurring the line, and I'm, I'm very sure they can be used in, uh, in commercial products. So um, yeah, check this out. Out, there's a few boards there. It's Eamon at uh, Maker Faire Rome 2023 with IP Exchange. I'm at the Arduino booth, the center of the Arduino village. We've interviewed pretty much everyone that we have in the whole of the village. And now we're on to Arduino itself. So um, here's Anna. Hey, hello. And um, we've got, I think, three rounds of demos to go all around the booth. So yeah. Anna, let's uh, start off what's going on here. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to tell something about what we do. Um, we have plenty of demos and the, let's say the particular thing is that the demos were created by some creators and makers in the community. Oh, sweet. So we really wanted to like bring to the fair real people doing real stuff. So this is basically a cocktail bar. Uh -huh. So let's say you're going home, you want a cocktail, we cannot serve, of course, beverages into the fair, so we are just uh, playing with colors. Mm -hmm. And let's say that I want a cocktail that's gonna be the color of Arduino, so I'm gonna push this button, and you will see a process in which RGB colors are mixed, and in the end, there will be this romantic spoon going down and and twisting the cocktail so I think it's a very nice idea also to place in the house when mm -hmm. you have friends and you can say also this is a Giga display shield and oh the, is that the new one yes oh cool it's nice. the new shield and the next implementation will be that of course, now we are having an experience that's touchable, mm -hmm. but since the display shield has a microphone integrated, okay. we could just say, hey, can you please me do, um, I don't know, vodka, tonic or Mojito. something? <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. Cool. So, and this is the result. <laughs> excellent. Uh, so this is based on the, the, the Giga Wi-Fi yeah. R1? Yes. Yes, this is based on the new Giga Wi-Fi uh, R1 and the Giga Display Shell. Cool. So, in relation to the other Giga um, boards, um, what's? I mean, I, I assume Wi-Fi is an addition, but what are there any other big additions to the board compared to the original? Uh, uh, to be honest, no, because this is just the the one release we did. We oh, have okay. the Mega and the Duo, and oh, the Giga yes. is like, let's say, is the augmented experience okay. of the Mega and the Duo. So, oh, cool, nice. Uh, we just have the Giga Wi-Fi uh, R1, okay. and it's it's a pretty cool product, and we are seeing many makers doing plenty of creative things with the Giga, so we're very happy. Oh, nice. Is that the biggest Arduino board at the moment in terms yeah. of the yeah. Maker series? Yes. Cool. For, for the Maker space, is the, the, the most powerful, and yeah, it's definitely, let's say, the Pro competition. Excellent. Board. Yeah. Cool. So uh, then going ahead, I don't know if you guys know, but we recently added to the Nano family the Nano ESP32. I do, I do remember and that. I always say it's like mixing Nike and Adidas and doing a great product. <laughs> yeah. So the idea, uh, besides jokes, is let's put together our efforts and also our knowledge and uh, create a board that has a very um, well-known form factor and we can use MicroPython, uh, it's perfect for IoT. In terms of, uh, is that two um, nano, it, nano is ESP32? It, yeah, nano ESP32 boards uh, communicating together? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We have two nano ESP, one is here and the other one is over the, the, the machine. Mm -hmm. And then there is a module that's the ESP now, mm -hmm. so uh, in a wireless mode we can communicate. They can communicate actually. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> uh, then again, a nano ESP32. This is a very old school uh, video game. Oh, yes. So it's like, um, you remember like Space Invaders yeah, yeah, or yeah. Spade Wars, and you can just easily play with the game and. 
yeah, you need. To, I'm very bad at video games, but <laughs> actually. But yeah, I mean, the idea here is you can build a video game with twenty dollars or so. And Excellent. Um, yeah, because yeah, I guess the ESP32 is, is very, very powerful yeah. um, compared to, say, one of the eight-bit. Um, one of the 8-bit microcontrollers. Yeah and, yeah, and you can do really a lot of things in a yeah. super tiny form factor. So Excellent. Also for wearables. Mm. I mean, we are seeing that it was like a, a real challenge somehow to launch this product, but we have seen a community that's mm. really responding in a yeah. very positive way. So. Excellent. Oh, I'm glad. So, yeah. Then we have a couple of memory games uh, over here, and then I would say our uh, range of boards mm. and yeah this is pretty much what we have excellent in this maker for edition so just a, a funny one because I I can see it's a limited edition I've yeah. never seen this guy before so oh, really? wh when was when was this around uh, we launched this two years ago okay yes. and yeah it was a limited edition it's uh, a function a full functioning Arduino Uno but mm. it's a you know scale like it's um, it's a mini yeah. um, scale and golden and black because we wanted to celebrate yeah. our 10 million boards sold. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Years. So yeah, it's, 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 it's a cool product, very like premium product. Excellent. So, Arduino Giga. I made a bit of a, of a mistake there. They look like the Mega and the Duo, but this is a significant addition, especially considering that even when you put in the Giga Shield, the display on it, you still have access to all the pins that you did before if you were using a, a Mega or a Duai. And man, the Nano ESP32 is a, a pretty damn good combination of two companies. Just looking into the specs, there's there's some stuff that ESP32 can do, can do that just isn't isn't normal. Uh, like the I think it's ESP2 ESP Now protocol. So they two ESP32 devices can actually just directly talk to each other in their own protocol. These devices really are blurring the line between uh, just kind of normal maker space and professional design space. I don't think of them as the same league as, say, an Uno or one of the Nano Everies. So I've been playing with these because I, I like making. These, if, if the Uno's here, Nano Everies here, ESP30, Nano ESP32 is up here, and the Giga, that's just off the charts. So yeah, check it out. It's 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 really surprisingly powerful.